Hi everybody, it's Dandruff, and welcome back, welcome back. I enjoyed my break, I enjoyed my week off, but now I just want to get back to bringing you the latest and greatest gaming news, so we need to get caught up on over what happened in the last break, so it's gonna be a bumpy ride, but here goes nothing. So, what have we missed? Well, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has launched, and I heard that, that it hasn't had the greatest reviews on PC due to server issues making the game all but unplayable for some. A shipment of Steam Machines, Steam Controllers, and Steam Links have all gone out. I've gotten mine, as you can clearly see here, and there will be reviews on it soon, or videos on it soon, but I need some more tools so that way I can actually open the thing up and get, the si get inside it because I want to see what's inside the damn thing. The official launch is actually tomorrow on those. Humble Bundle's monthly subscription service has started, and just for t for just $12, you can get seven games last month, including Besiege, Towerfall Ascension, and Saints Row 4. A link to it in the description down below for a list of the full games, as well as if you want to sign up for next month. They're giving away Towerfall Ascension free if you sign up for it. A World of Warcraft movie trailer is out, which looks absolutely great. It looks like Warcraft. I don't know how original the movie is going to be, but uh, Warcraft fans like myself are probably going to go see it. Konami has shut down its LA studio, which was responsible for some development of Metal Gear Solid 5's online mode, but Konami still insists that the Metal Gear Solid franchise is alive and well. Fuck Konami. The Fallout 4 preload is out, The and Fallout fans are losing their minds, probably rightfully so. The game is going to be 23.8 gigabytes on Steam, 28.2 gigabytes on PS4, and around the same 28 gigabyte mark on Xbox One. Overwatch is confirmed for PS4 and Xbox One, and will cost $59.99 US dollars, or your regional equivalent. GameStop spilled the beans on this one. Blizzard was trying to save it for BlizzCon this weekend, but meh. the game will also officially launch in uh, or on or before June of next year. But I don't care, Blizzard. Give it to me now. Valve has found a uh, Valve has been found at fault. That is for uh, uh, this year's previous summer sale, in which they sold GTA V bundled with in-game currency for essentially the same as the original price, but calling it a discount. Yeah, we were all... The joy of painting with Bob Ross practically took over Twitch for about a week, with ad revenue generated happily going to charities like St. Jude's and Root Division, but sadly turning Bob Ross into a meme. Activision has bought Candy Crush for $5.9 billion with a B billion. That's three times more than Minecraft was bought for a couple of years ago. And this is probably for some unholy reason, obviously. And there, um, and that's about it for last week. See the description found below for part two. Yeah, I, I know, right? First time ever that we're actually having a part two episode, but I didn't want this episode to be about 15 minutes long. And... You get two of these today. What do you call a tree that has totally lost its mind? A Deku nut.